so for the back i will extend the crotch I, I will extend the crotch by one inch here i will extend the crotch by one inch and then i'll connect it all the way down and to the waist too so let me quickly do that one inch So I'll come up by three quarter of an inch here and connect it to this point. Three quarter of an inch. So let me do that. And then cut this out. So I finished cutting the trouser and I will set it aside. So I've set the trouser aside. Now it's time to sew the dashiki. I will place the front. This is the front facing, the front side. Facing the front side of the fabric. And I'll take this to the machine and sew with half an inch or a quarter of an inch. All the way down. And also, I'll make sure to pin it because it's very important. So I'll pin it all around. So I'll get it perfect. I'll sew it all the way around down here to this point. And after that, I'll notch it, then top stitch the neckline. And I'll do the same for the back. For the back, I'll place this facing as well on it. And sew it all the way around. After which, I'll notch it, then flip it over and top stitch. So I'll pin it to secure it. So I've finished attaching the facing and I also ironed it, as you can see. So this facing, if you know, you can also cut it whichever style you want. You can cut it in a square. It, it's, not, it's not a must that it will be a curve. You can cut it in a square and you can also hem it by yourself or you can either weave it to cover the rough edges, whichever one you want. So I'll be weaving this later on. But what I'll do now is to, what I'll do now is to join this facing to facing. This is the front side and that is the back side with the front sides facing each other so i'll place this like this 
this is the facing with the facings facing each other like this and then make sure to match it here I'll take this to the machine and sew it with quarter of an inch and I'll do the same to this other side so let me quickly do that and come and show you I'll hem so what is remaining now from is for me to hem the sleeves so I'll take it in by half one just one inch or three quarter of an inch I'll sew it and then do the same here and after that I'll come and hem this side I'll come and eat. there are so many ways to make this you can decide to just sew it all the way straight down or you can decide to sew it like this or you can even decide to make a beautiful shape by curving it, by slanting it, sorry, by slanting it. You can slant this and create a beautiful, you know, there are so many ways you can play around with your dashiki whichever way you want. So let me just go and hem this and I'll be right back. So guys, I've finished hemming the sleeves and what I'll do now is just to sew from here, then all the way down and I'll do the same on the other side. You just quarter of an inch I will just come in just from here come in and then all the way down and after that I'll hem it and the dashiki will be ready so let me quickly do that so this is also a good time to shape the dashiki if you feel that it is too big you can use the, pe the person's hip measurement and add two inches sewing allowance so, sorry and add two inches is allowance and then one each sewing allowance it's also a good way to, to shape the dash. If you feel that this size that is using the sleeve length to sew it to be too big on the person, so just shape it. But I want it to be a little bit free on her, so I'm just going to go down with go down by half an inch. So let me quickly do that. So guys can you see that it was really really easy and so beautiful so i'll set this aside and move over to the trouser let's start making the trouser so for the trouser i'll go and join the front piece this is the front i'll join it here at the crotch from here to here and for the back back piece i'll do the same i'll join from here to here so let me quickly do that So I have done that. I've joined it. Can you see here? So what I'll do next is to join it here, all the way down here, like this to there. So let me quickly do that, and I'll come and show you. So guys, I've also joined it on the two sides. So it's just remaining to hem it. So it's just remaining to hem it and also attach a waistband. So let me quickly cut the waistband. For the waistband, I'll be using three inches of fabric. 
I'm using one inch pan, so I'll be using three inches for sewing allowance. So I will, I will attach this to the trouser now. Let me show you how. So I will sew this all the way around. Like this, this is the front, facing the front. You can also attach from the inside. It's all up to you. But I want to attach from the front, on the front here, all the way around. So let me quickly do that. So I finished attaching this. So what I'll do now is to fold this by a quarter of an inch and then sew it all the way around. And I'll leave space for attaching the elastic. So let me quickly do that and I'll be right back. So guys, I finished sewing and I left this just one inch to attach this elastic. So the elastic that I cut, the waist inch, her waist inches is 21 inches. So, but I subtracted about four inches from that. So what I have here is 17 inches. So, so that it will fit her properly. So I will attach it now using this. I'll take this in the machine, make sure that it's properly placed like this. And I'll sew it like two to three times until it's very, very secured and tight. And after that, I will now loosen it up. So I'll go and close this up. I'll finish this up so i'll also hem it and iron it properly then i'll know that i've finished the trousers. i'll come and show you the finished look so you can choose to make your trousers more penciled because trousers that are worn with dashiki are supposed to be penciled in order to be so beautiful so you can take in more than when you're sewing take in more than one inch sewing allowance when you get to the the down of the trouser you'll just pencil it down so it will be beautiful so let me quickly join it and then hem it and show you the finished look of the trouser so guys, I'm done with the trouser and I've ironed it as well. So can you see how beautiful it looks? Can you see the trouser and the dashiki? It is so beautiful. Try this for your little girl or your little boy. It's so easy to make. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you've not subscribed, please do not forget to do so. And put on the bell when you subscribe so you can get to know when I have a new video. So thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.